G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a geometry question for middle schoolers, which goes as follows. I saw this tri right triangle ABC, ABC, it's a right triangle, encloses a semicircle of area 2 pi. Okay, so my picture's a little bit off here, but that's a semicircle of area 2 pi. The circle has center O, great, um, hy on hypotenuse AB, so that O is on the hypotenuse, okay, that's definitely the hypotenuse, great, um, and is tangent to sides AC and BC, okay, where are these? AC and BC, so it's tangent to those sides, and tangent means what? Just touches. Yep, so I've drawn, touching here and here, great. The question is, what is the area of triangle ABC? Hmm, all right. All right, so on the area of the whole big triangle. Well, let's see, so the, they tell me the area of the semicircle is two pi. It's the only actual number I've got I mean, given in this question. So the area of the semicircle would normally be what? Half of pi r squared is two pi. So a little bit of algebra tells me that r squared would have to be four, so r is two. It's a circle of radius two. So that means that's two and that's two. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm just going to play with this. I'm going to draw on some more line segments. In fact, I'm going to engage in strategy number three, which is engage in wishful thinking. I'm going to do stuff which feels intuitively right in terms of geometry. I'm not going to worry about proving it just right now, but I can't help but think to draw that radius and say that's going to be length two. I'm going to draw this radius, this length two, which looks kind of strange, but my picture is a pretty bad picture. I suspect everything here is symmetrical despite what it looks like. I have a feeling that is going to be its own perfect square. The reason I say that is because I know that tangents and radii always meet at right angles. I know that's a right angle. Oh, has to be square. So despite my picture, that has to be square. Oh, that's a good piece of wishful thinking. Turns out to be true, I think. Um, in which case, that's two and that's two. Um, you know, I bet, don't know if it's actually right, I bet they're two as well. It just feels so symmetrical. This question's got to be so symmetrical. In which case, I bet the triangle's four and four, and all I have to do is work out half of that uh, area of that square. Bingo. That would be the answer to the question. But of course, all that is wishful thinking. So I guess the real question now is, is my mathematically wishful thinking actually mathematically correct? Is that really two? Can we prove that? Hmm. So there's something to, to muddle on right here. All right, so muddle on that. Give it a go, try to think about that. Is there a good geometric logical reason why that length is two and I'm right? Or maybe there's a better way to see this question entirely. Hmm, this is a good question actually. So mull on it and then check your thoughts with the thoughts I presented in the essay that goes with this video. There's good stuff here. Great, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.